of Mansfield doing some laps, working up an appetite for a big breakfast. Aye, just over here. Now, I've been told by friends that just up there, a minute's walk away from my condo, the Murray at Marquis, that's where you can get the best breakfast in Bangkok. So I'm gonna go check it out. Okay, so my expectations for this place are pretty high. When multiple people tell you that something is the best, you expect nothing less than the best. And uh, there's also that saying, you only get what you pay for. Well, on this occasion, I'll be paying half. And that's because I'm using the Etigo app. And this is an app that, if you go to fancy hotel restaurants at certain times that they're not busy, you can get your dinner for, for half price. Or, or your breakfast on this occasion for me. Or I guess it is my dinner because I've been up all night. Uh, but yeah. I'm going at 9.30 and the breakfast buffet closes at Sorry, it's a bit busy, guys. Sorry, I'm sweating. I smell that hot shower after the swim. Probably wasn't such a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I'm going at 9.30 and the buffet closes at 10.30. Oh, there's a school in there. I guess that's how they're doing their assembly. Uh, or standing outside the school with a camera. That looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> right, so, uh, what was I saying? Your man loses track. It's... Uh, 9.30 uh, I'm gone and the buffet closes at 10.30 so they're usually not busy at that time which means your man half price buffet dinner uh, breakfast or well, dinner for him right <laughs> let's go <laughs> here we are Marriott Marquise baby please let's just walk in through here they don't even have a fancy hotel and they don't even have a path going from the street to the bloody uh, doorway. I'm expecting everybody to take a car here, apparently. But your man's got two strong legs. He walks places, doesn't he? Right, let's go up here. And this joint, this gaff. Is this it here or are we walking straight into it? This looks like, let's have a look. No, this looks like the lobby. I reckon this is just the lobby. I'm looking for a goji kitchen. Over here. Over here, okay, thank you. Hi. Oh, that looks nice. Yum, yum. Okay, over this way somewhere. Some of the crap, me eat to go crap. Me eat go. Yes, one person. None of my friends can wake up this early. Okay. Okay. Well, let me play okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, what have we got? Oh, this is included in the buffet, right? The drinks? Yeah. That's very good. What's this? Waffles and pancakes over here. Oh, loads of fresh fruit. Lovely. So I follow this block. He's fast. He's faster than me. <laughs> right, slow down, mate. Slow down, lad. All right. Uh, you're taking me on a tour of the whole place, right? <laughs> All right, where am I sitting? Oh, next to the window would be good, mate. Oh, mate, mate, give me a window seat. That'd be nice. Maybe over there. Somebody's sitting there, yeah? Somebody's sitting there. I'll sit here. Okay, I'll, I'll sit. Okay, I'll sit here. Here. Uh, if have someone. Uh, really? What? Here? Here? Well, I'm trying to find somewhere, somewhere quiet because I don't want to disturb the, the other guests if I'm talking. Okay. Maybe here's good, right? Okay. Just trying to be. Uh, just trying to be polite and not sit right next to that couple who are uh, enjoying themselves. Okay. All right. Do I like some coffee or tea? Uh, no thanks, I'm gonna go for fruit juice. Uh, I'm gonna drink fruit juice, so no thank you. Okay. Okay, so I... Uh, oh, this is the cutlery and everything, all right. So I just come back here, right? Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. Okay. Let's go find some scran. It's pretty busy, isn't it? I reckon most of these people are hotel guests. I think this hotel quite new as well. Right, our signature omelette. Maybe that's what we'll start with. Fluffy. Fried egg omelette. And this looks like some quiche, pumpkin, caramelized onions, and feta. Right, we'll give that a go. One slice. I'm trying to have just like one wee, one wee piece of everything so I can try a lot of different things. Right, maybe one of these omelettes. How does this system work? 
Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Good morning. สวัสดีดอนเช้าครับวันทอร์ดอร์ออมเลยไอเทลดิสแมนไรโอเคดิสออมเลยแมนกูดมอร์นิ่งเซอร์ไอวิดไลค์แอนออมเลตเอสโอ้ดิสออมเลตสถานีดิสเมนูของออมเลตชูร์ทามและเอจเชดอร์ฮึมวิชวันอินส์เดอะเบสต์วันที่คุณแนะนำวิชวันดีวิชวันที่คุณชอบ Selection of condiments. Okay, this one. Okay. Oh yeah, let's try the the the, the shoshu bang. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. I bring this back to here. I take. Okay, thank you. Oh, sorry, mate. That's mine. Okay. Right. Let's see what other delicacies we can find here. Oatmeal porridge, scrambled eggs. Right. Oh, that'll be nice. A few grilled tomatoes. Let's see. Okay, just a couple of these and baked beans. See, baked beans in breakfast buffets can be hit or miss. So, I don't know if they're Heinz or not. Usually, if they're not Heinz, they're not good. But we'll give them a go. Right. What else do we have here? Roasted sweet potato. That looks nice. Just have a wee bit of that. It looks like the Japanese style sweet potato. What else? This is a bit healthy for a Scotsman. Turmeric. Turmeric roast cauliflower. Give it a go anyway. There we are. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay, crispy bacon. I said I was going to try just one piece of everything, but I'm going to make an exception for the bacon and take uh, two, or actually maybe three. This looks lovely. One, have two, to carry three. Him up these <laughs> Yeah, I, try, I want to try everything, but you know, like it's, it's, it looks good, doesn't it? Like you're normally not getting good bacon that good in Bangkok breakfast. It's normally this like uh, plasticky uh, ham kind of thing they're using, right? Well, oh, they even got honey glazed ham here, a pineapple oh, for breakfast as well. Um, I'll get myself a pork sausage. There we go. There we are. Oh, that'll do for starters. Still got my omelette card. Right. I'll get stuck into that for starters, and then we'll see what else is going on here. All sorts of grilling meat. Oh, I was uh, just seen some Sri Lankan food there. There was like that vada, vadi or something. Uh, right. Let's sit down. Oh, wait a minute. There's a woman sitting in my seat. How did that happen? There's the guy. That's very s a m y for that for that uh, woman with the short hair who's sitting. And now I'm stuck holding a plate with nowhere to sit. Where's the guy? Where's the geezer? Where's the block? Where are you, mate? Oh wait, there's a last over there. I'll go and speak to her. Hello, hello. Somebody help. Scotsman with no table. Scotsman with food and no table to eat on. Hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Someone stole my table. I've nowhere to sit. They took my table. And now I need another table. Somewhere quiet, please. Someone took my table, so now I need another table. Somewhere quiet would be good. Okay, I will find a table. Okay, thank you very much, mate. Cheers. Okay. Maybe. Okay, that looks good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll go around here. Okay. Thank you. Quite chaotic. Quite chaotic here. So, excuse me. This we, this we space. But uh, no, no cutlery on the table. Oh, very good. It's very good of you, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Ah, no thanks. I'm gonna drink uh, fruit juice. Okay. All right. Cheers. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Right. First, I'm gonna try this. I think it was a quiche. It was like pumpkin and feta or something like that. A bit fancy. Let's try it. Oh. Oh ho oh, oh. ho. That is nice. Tell you what though. No need to pull the fork. I l l wolf this down. Oh. Lovely. Very nice indeed. Mm. Right, it's very difficult to get a good sausage in Bangkok, and that is because 95% of places are just using this cheap, rubbery kind of. I don't even know what they make it of. I don't know if it's pork or what, but give this one a go. 
And I'll tell you what, that is a proper pork sausage. And the bacon, but well, I can tell just by looking at it, that's proper bacon. Right. Oh. Good. I would say the bacon's a bit too overdone, it's hard. I don't know, probably when it was freshly cooked, it would have been nice, but maybe it's been sitting there for like half an hour or something. So it is, it's like kind of, it's kind of rock hard. It needs to be cooked a little bit less than that. Right. Right, the beans, like I said, they're very hit and miss in hotels. I'd rather just everywhere just use Heinz baked beans and then, be, then it would be good, but... They're actually, they're not Heinz, but they are delicious, but they're also cold. Uh, so, yeah. Now, all that's left, you know, I went for my unhealthy stuff first, now all that's left is this cauliflower turmeric. Which is actually not bad. The sweet potato. Which is creamy and flavorful. And then the tomatoes. Let's give this a go. Which are fine, it's a bit, it's a bit difficult to mess up and grill in some tomatoes. So, overall, Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy to get a decent pork sausage in Thailand. Uh, it's about time I go and get that omelette from the geezer who was making it. Number 17. I reckon that might be it there. There's a queue. Okay, number 17, mate. Right? No worries. Sorry, you in the queue. Sorry. Number 17. Is that mine? Okay, thank you. Well, it's a wee one, but no worries. It's all I want. I want to be trying different things. Like I said, that's... I think this is, I think this is Indian food. Huh. I'll be back for some of that. Yeah, I reckon it's... This stuff is short. Hi. This is the Indian or Sri Lankan food? Which one is this? One. Yeah. What you have here? White choli. This is in, from India? Yeah. Uh, India food, oh. And sambal. Ah. Sorry, my fault. <laughs> uh, you have... <laughs> okay, what do I do now? Taking this idiot Scotsman to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> well, I'm only going to take 75% of the blame because, I mean, it's not like there's a place where you can put down your plate while you're loading it up with stuff. It should be further back, right? It's not totally my fault. Watch it, mate. Watch it. I've uh, had a wee accident there. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making sure you don't stand in it. Yeah. You don't want an uh, egg on your flip-flops. <laughs> okay. I think that guy was going to get napkins or something, right? Oh, there, he's going to get like a broom or something. I thought he was going to get napkins because this is on my foot. All right. I need some uh, tissues or something to... <laughs> we can probably get some tissues. Yeah. Sorry about that, mate. It's just it's not really a good place to put the plates. <laughs> okay. I guess most people, they're holding the plate in one hand and then uh, serving it with the other hand, but your man vlogging with one hand, so that's the problem. Right. Oh, look, that's where they're roasting up the, uh, or keeping warm the quiche. Lovely. And by now, no doubt somebody's stolen my table. <laughs> right. Where is this skeezer? How hard can it be to find some napkins in a bloody restaurant? I'll go look at myself.
Oh, 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 there you are. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll throw this here. Well, this doesn't work. Okay. Ah. Right. Luckily, everybody around, too busy, concerned with their food, to be uh, looking at me, making an arse of myself. Right, I'm gonna get, oh, sorry. <laughs> right, before I get in any more trouble, is my table still there? Let me check. Is it still there? Ah, oh, yeah, it is. Right, good. I'm gonna get myself some fruit juice, and then uh, <laughs> maybe another omelette. Okay, here we go. There was the fruit juice. Pretty sure it was back here somewhere. It was on the way in. But what a trek this is. This place is huge. Right, through here. There we are. I see it. Five different fruit juices, it looks like. That's okay. These look wet. Okay. I'll grab two, save myself a second journey. Thai tangerine, orange juice, pineapple, guava. Apple, okay, I've got a pineapple and a guava. There we go, one handed, not even making a mess. This is coming up a wee bit slow. Tip this one to get it out. It's nearly done. There we go. One handed. Your man's an expert doing things one handed. Let's grab these two glasses one handed and not and not drop them on the floor and make more of a mess. Let's see if we can do this. That's the mission for the rest of this breakfast. Not to make more of a mess. Right. Let's go over here. My table still there, still waiting for me. Fantastic. Here we go. There we are. Okay. Right. Right, time to order another omelette. <laughs> well, well I wait for this guy. Hi mate, can I get another one of these omelets with everything? The last one was lovely, so I want another one. Yeah. Everything, the one that's a selection of condiments. Oh yeah, the full shebang, yeah. All right. 9-11, 9-1-1. Yeah. Okay, five minutes I'll be back, yeah, for another one. That last one was fantastic, so it was. Fantastic, right. Maybe I should try some of this Indian food with the chutney and all that. Do love a bit of chutney. And uh, I reckon this uh, vada, this uh, that I had in Sri Lanka. They're saying this is Indian food, but this is the type. It looks exactly like the type I ate in Sri Lanka. I've got a couple of these with a bit of chutney. A bit of coconut chutney, in fact. It looks nice. I've never had coconut chutney. Like, I'm not making the same mistake again. I'm moving this. I've not had coconut chutney before, so... Huh. Very strange. Right. Give that a go, and some alu prata and batarana. Da, 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 da. Samba. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Don't really fancy any more of that, but uh, here's the meat station. Grilled samba. Okay, it's fish. Okay, trying everything. These are so Oh yeah, that's nice. Guess this must be Japanese section, because this is normally what you get in Japanese restaurants. 
It's kind of like more of a dessert than savoury food, but I'll stick a wee tart on there. Add some grilled saba next to it. What else we got? Japanese rice? Nah. When you're at a buffet, you don't want to be, you want to be avoiding the carbs. It's just, just a waste. And that does not look like miso soup at all, but whatever. And here we got some grilled pork. Oh, that's good, I'll just grab that. And grilled chicken. I'll grab that, I guess I will. So this is Thai, I guess, that's Japanese, this is Thai. That's Indian, so three in one. Right, back to the table and eat that. Let's go, here we go. So I'll wolf this down and then I'll go for, is my table still there? Good. See, that's always the problem. When you eat a buffet on your own, as soon as you get up to go eat more food, a lot of times they just clear your table. <laughs> Even when you've got food that you want to still be eating, they'll just clear it away. Big problem. Right, let's set this up again. Fruit juice, is it fresh? Or did it come from a bottle? Well, I reckon that came from a bottle, but it's still pretty good in the guava. That might be fresh. That does taste quite fresh. Oh, that is quite nice. Right, what are we trying first? The Indian, vada, wada, whatever it is, with the coconut chutney. First time ever trying coconut chutney. New experience for me. That's pretty good, pretty good. Thumbs up for the vada with coconut chutney. That's lovely. Hmm. Right, this Japanese fish, the Saba, which actually has a wee bit of coconut chutney on it. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, that's nice. The skin, nice and crispy. Oh, it's been well fried. It's lovely. And then the rest of the Japanese food, the, um, forget what you call this, I always call this Tamagotchi, but that's wrong. It's, it's a word that sounds like Tamagotchi, but it's like, egg and sugar, and that's about it. And that's decent, although I do have a mouthful of fish, so, in fact, let's, let's clear the palate with some guava juice. And taste it properly, as I eat with my left hand. That is pretty decent, not too sweet. Which is what you want when you're eating it with savoury food. Right, the Thai style, grilled pork. Oh, yeah. This Thai style grilled pork is way better than the Mu Ping you get on the streets. It's like perfect quality pork and just that glazed Thai whooping sauce, whatever it is, is, is lovely. Mm. Oh yeah. chicken, they've got the skin crispy and perfect. Oh, that's cooked to perfection. Again, another thumbs up for that. Oh, lovely. Right, well, I reckon it's time for that omelette. Second time lucky, right? Okay, here we go. This time, the mission. Get this thing back to my table in one piece. Oh, this is tempting again. 
this pumpkin. This this is the best thing I've tried so far. This this quiche. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna grab a piece again. Well, mate. Oh. It's all falling apart in my hand. Oh, that's my one there. That's one there. Thank you. Cheers. All right. Let's do this. Navigate our way through the crowds without smashing this. Oh, on the floor. Nearly hit that woman. <laughs> Nearly just walked in that woman. Okay. Just one more to avoid, and we're there. Lovely. Here we go. One omelette with everything. I can't even remember what I asked them to put on it, or what was listed on the menu as the condiments, but there's just a bunch of stuff. Bunch of... I'm tasting, tasting like ham, some... Ooh, what am I tasting? All right. I'm seeing. So in there we've got various herbs, cheese, tomato, sausage. Looks like cucumber. What else? Ham. Let's get everything in one mouthful. Let's see if it tastes together. It's a pretty good omelette. Nice and fluffy, nice and tasty. Happy with that. Right, more grub. Right, let's see what else is going on. Garlic fried rice. Stir fried noodles and vegetables. This looks like lunchtime or dinner time food to me. This is why you come here when you've been up all night. Tom Guy Palo. I don't know what Palo is. I don't know what Tom Guy is. Uh, pork and eggs with five spices. This is this is all Thai. Thai dinner food at breakfast. Brilliant. What else we got over here? Oh, is this sweet stuff? Am I ready for sweet stuff? Oh, it's tempting. In fact, I'm going to stop myself. Once I start eating the sweet stuff, that'll be all I want to eat. So, uh, oh, pancakes. Oh, that's sweet as well. Right, I need to make sure I leave room for all that sweet stuff and some of the fruit as well. Healthy sweet stuff. Oh, and more healthy looking sweet stuff. But all different varieties of yogurt and usually there. That looks pretty good. Right, what have we got here? Chinese buns. Oh, some dim sum. Barbecue pork bun. Well, maybe I'll, be, maybe I'll just get the one barbecue pork bun just to taste it. Just dive right in there. There we go. And then I reckon I'm going to get some of that Thai dinner food from over here. This is definitely not breakfast. I don't think any Thais are eating this for breakfast. Any uh, garlic fried rice and stuff. Right. Yeah. In fact, I'm only, gonna, I'm only going to eat a wee bit, so I'm just going to put it on this wee plate like that. And what else? Some of this chicken. There we go. You need in every nationality of food. Right, so I reckon this will be it for my savoury food and then I'll be on to the sweet stuff. Okay, first the barbecue pork bun from the dim sum stand. Let's uh, get rid of some of the, some of the carbs here. And just go straight for the pork. I always hate how it sticks to the bloody paper. Right. Okay. There we go. That's better. 
Mm. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm pretty impressed by everything, pretty much so far, apart from the bacon. And what else? Yeah, pretty much just the bacon was a thumbs down for me. And it looked good as well. Right, let's try some of this pub guy. Pretty standard, nothing special, just your regular Thai chicken and the garlic fried rice. Let's give this a go. Huh. That is nice. That rice is, is nice and light and fluffy and the, the taste is just perfect. Oh. Really, it's like this rice kind of just, just melts in your mouth. There's no tune required. Oh. So I would say, the best thing I've tried so far here, that quiche, the feta and pumpkin, maybe the garlic rice would be number two. Two thumbs up for the garlic rice. Lovely, lovely. Right, sweet stuff. First, pancake. Second, what was over there again? Oh yeah, all the cakes and stuff. That'll be last. First, the pancake, then the fruit and then the cakes. I reckon that's the, that's the plan. Or maybe a bit of yogurt as well. Okay. Do we have to order it like the eggs or do, you, do we just wait for the guy? What have we got here? Chocolate, maple syrup, honey, caramel and vanilla. Lovely. And some cinnamon sugar there as well. I reckon I'll be going for the cinnamon sugar and maple syrup and a bit of raisins as well. How are you? You're making good pancakes. They're fluffy. The fluffy pancakes. Good. Okay, let's give them a wee check. Looks like they're done. There we go. All right, cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna grab one. Okay, just taking the one, mate. Cheers. Okay, I'm gonna get a wee bit of cinnamon sugar. Yeah, I reckon. Some maple. Oh, lovely. A few raisins. What's this? It looks like chopped almonds. All right, that'll be nice. There we go. A lovely wee pancake. Now, the fruit section. Let's be nice and healthy. A healthy Scotsman. Yeah, it's cauliflower. Now what? Oh, some rambo tan, I reckon. I'm a big fan of the Rambutan. Let's see what we got here. Let's load these up. Tempted to, tempted to take the lot, actually, but I'll be nice and only take half of them. Right, now I have the mission of going one-handed back to the table with two plates. <laughs> okay, I'm literally holding this between my fingers. The chances, I say, of me dropping this before I get back to the table Trying to avoid these people, I'd say 50-50. So wish me luck, guys. Keep your fingers crossed for the next 10, 15, 20 seconds as your man navigates his way back to the table with this grub. Here we go. Okay, brilliant. We did it. Oh, that guy could have given the table a wipe, eh? Right, I'm going to get another fruit juice as well. What did I try last time? I tried the pineapple and guava, and they were both quite nice. The guava, very nice, in fact. But uh, let's try another one. Maybe the Thai orange. Not that big a fan of the Thai style orange. The, uh, it's a bit, a bit strong, the flavor. But uh, I might give it a go. There was it, there it is. Let's grab one of these glasses. Have 
In fact, I'm going to go for that water. I'm going to go for that watermelon juice. Let's do this one-handed. Easy. But can we do it one-handed without making a mess? Let's see. There we go. No worries at all. Oh, that is fresh. That has not come out of a bottle at all. That is proper, fresh watermelon juice. Okay, so you're about to learn the Dale technique for opening a Rambo tan. This is how Dale does it. He sticks his thumb into it like this, and then he twists like that. There you go, that's your Rambo tan. Now, for anybody who's never eaten Rambo tan before, there's a big stone in the middle of it. Some, some of them, you can just pull them right off it. It comes straight off the stone. Those are the best ones. Other ones, you have to bite around it. So we'll see what we've got here. This is like somewhere in between. In fact, this is one of the ones that does peel off quite easily. You can see there. And then you can just, the rest, what's, what's left, the meat, you just shove in your mouth. Pretty decent. But what about this pancake? Oh, it is actually nice and fluffy inside. You see the way he was cooking them were quite slow, so. Anyway, make sure everything is loaded on top and then it's gone straight in the gob. Another double thumbs up. So that's the pancake, the feta cheese quiche, and the garlic rice are the three best ones so far. The three that I'm saying are actually superb. The rest, pretty good, apart from the bacon. Stuck into these Rambo tans. Again, the old method. Thumb, twist. Straight out, one bite, and then separate it from the stone. It's a little bit sticky. And then you've got the meat. Right, that's the pancake and the fruit done. All that's left is time for some cakes, and then I reckon that's me done. Don't feel that full, but don't want to be going to bed on a massively full stomach. That's what I'm doing after this. I'm going to bed. Right. The bloody size of these muffins. It's like a 400 calorie muffin right there. And here there's some... That's a toasting station. Right, where do I get the plates? Any plates around here? Here we go. Just grab this plate, and I reckon I'm just going to take a blueberry Danish and a blueberry muffin. In fact, that one's got alt. That one's got pecans on it. That's not blueberry, right? This one, and I guess this is supposed to be from here. Do I want that, or maybe I'll go for this hazelnut double snail. There we go. Okay, let's finish up with these. Blueberry muffin. Let's give it a go. It's a pretty decent muffin. Decent enough. And then this thing. 
Ah, it's not that great, to be honest with you. Ah. Right, I'm gonna finish off this blueberry muffin. I reckon that'll be me from here. Right, so that's me done. How do I pay for this? I didn't see any, oh, here's a weather. Uh, check Ben Crab. I, uh, check, yeah, check Ben, okay. Okay, I was wondering, there's not really many waiters walking about. I was wondering, maybe it's just the hotel people who are normally here, and it would be easy, if you wanted to, to just bloody get up and walk out. I mean, nobody would notice. So, I'm not saying you should do this, but if for some reason you have no morals, <laughs> and you want a free breakfast, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna pay for it, though. How long have I been rolling for? 53 minutes. Okay, well, I've been waiting for ages, I reckon. In fact, I'll, I'll give them two more minutes. And if they don't come with the bill, I should just bloody walk out. Ah, oh, bollocks, I'm, I'm getting up. Hell with this, keep him waiting five minutes for the bloody bill. Where are you, mate? Where are you? Right, I'm just going to the entrance and tell them. I want to leave. I'll stick around here any longer. You can take my money or you can just say goodbye to me. Right, where's the entrance? I think that's the entrance there or this list. See what's going on here. Aye, I've been waiting like five minutes for the bill. I want to pay the bill and go. Oh yeah, there's the bill here. Oh, okay, okay, I'll pay it here, okay. How much did it come to total? 621, not too bad. So All right. Can I, can I get the Marriott Bonvoy points here or not? Uh, for now, you use the Etigo discount. Yeah, because I use Etigo, I can't uh, collect Bonvoy points, right? Uh, okay. No. Want to collect? No, okay. Okay. That's an a la carte menu. It's almost as much for crab cakes after tax and that as it was for that whole buffet. So, I reckon you know what this is a better value. Right, what's going on here? So that's me from the Marriott Marquis Buffet Breakfast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Your man certainly enjoyed his meal, his dinner, at that breakfast buffet. It's pretty decent, and one of the first times I've actually went to a breakfast buffet and had the discipline not to stuff myself until I'm sick. I'm actually feeling pretty decent. I'm gonna go home, have a wee sleep. I'm gonna maybe get a massage when I wake up. And uh, that's a good way to start the day. Good. Hi, how are you? Good morning. Okay.